High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Quirk Auto Group, Greenway Equipment, Brewer Redemption Center, and Pine Tree Solar. High School Basketball on Ticket TV also brought to you by Next Home Experience, Northeast Driving School, Dean's Detailing, Levesque Business Solutions, Bangor Window Shade, Acadia Federal Credit Union, Novus Glass, Firehouse Subs, County Physical Therapy, Flash Me Main Photo Booths, Chase's Family Restaurant, Fairway Auto Sales, Tossie's Checkout Convenience Store, Comfort Shoes and More, Frank's Bake Shop, The Fitch Company, State Street Optics, Bangor Floral, and The Coach House Restaurant. High School Sports on Ticket TV also brought to you by Coastal Auto Parts, Hammond Lumber, Bangor Federal Credit Union, Creative Options, First National Bank, Midcoast Denture Design, and Miller's Workshop. Now let's get you out to the action on Ticket TV. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Orono High School, and welcome to high school basketball here on Ticket TV. Tonight, a matchup in Class B North in the Big East Conference between the Old Town Coyotes and the Orono Red Riots. Jim Churchill, along with Ernie Clark, here on the scene at Orono High School as we get set for a very important contest as we head down the, the home stretch, the very end of the home stretch in the regular season. Ernie, good evening to you. We got a uh, pretty good atmosphere brewing here at Orono tonight. Yeah, the gym is filling up. The uh, tickets were distributed long before this evening, so to, in order to control the crowd size here and fill the gym up, but it's uh, filling up pretty rapidly, and uh, I expect this to be a great environment for our high school basketball game. Got the band here. They'll be entertaining the fans, as will the players on the floor. This is the Northeast Driving School pregame show. Northeast Driving School has been the leader in driver training since 1969. Register for driver's ed courses today at northeastdrivingschool.com. Let's take a look at these standings in the Class B North right now, and both teams at this point would get a bye. Yes, at this point uh, they would get a bye, and certainly the winner of this game will uh, land in the, that top four and receive a bye directly to the quarterfinals at the Cross Insurance Center. Uh, there is a little bit of question mark in terms of what the loser of this game does. Obviously Orono, uh, Orono still has one game left to play. They're hosting number five Caribou on Friday in a makeup game while Old Town uh, for Old Town this is their regular season finale. High School Basketball on Ticket TV presented by Quirk Auto Group. Quirk Auto Group is your local boss plow dealer. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. And we're also presented by Greenway Equipment Sales. How will you make the most of your land Nothing runs like a deer in Bangor and Ellsworth and at GreenwayEquipment.com. We'll take a timeout here in the Northeast Driving School pregame show. When we come back, we'll take a look at the rosters for the Coyotes and the Red Riots <coughs> and talk about some of the key players in this ball game here tonight. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. If you're tired of rising electric costs, Pine Tree Solar and Herman can drastically lower or eliminate power bills for your home or business. Pine Tree Solar can even design and install off-grid systems for camps and remote locations. We are dedicated to making the process of going solar smooth and simple. Call us at 401-4300 or visit us online at pinetreesolar.com where our local solar energy experts will give you a free solar energy consultation. Pine Tree Solar, go green while saving green. 
When it comes to repairing or replacing your windshield, Novus is the clear choice in glass repair. Locally owned and operated at 499 Hammond Street, we offer free mobile service in the greater Bangor area, as well as shuttle service during bad weather. We can come to your home, workplace, or anywhere you are. Novus is a preferred service provider by all insurance companies, and we can cover up to $100 of your insurance deductible. Whether it's repairing or replacing your windshield, door glass, mirror, or your rear window glass, you can count on Novus to be where you are when you need us the most. Call Novus today. He can't catch a football, but he can fetch you a home. Catch Luke at Next Home Experience. We are back here at Orono High School. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and our Ticket TV team. Great to have you with us at 929theticket.com. Many of you watching on your Ticket app. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Brewer Redemption Center, conveniently located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind Parity Shop and Save. Brewer Redemption Center is efficient, offers excellent parking at 391 North Main Street in Brewer. Let's take a look at the rosters for the teams going at it here tonight. And we'll start with the Coyotes, led by head coach Garrett Libby. Indeed, a veteran team. Now, we've been under the belief all season long that there were seven seniors on the old-time roster based on the rosters we yeah. received and were available at every game. Come to find out, Grayson Tebow, number 13, is just a junior. Oh, better late than never. We Roster find out malfunction. week 18, and he's going to be somebody that uh, Garrett Libby's going to be glad to have uh, back next year. He's been one of their top players, had seven three-pointers the other night in a win uh, against Foxcroft Academy. But it is a veteran team, a lot of very talented guards, a lot of depth at, at, at the guard position. And then you see number thir uh, 25, Emmett Bither, is becoming a force in the middle, uh, as we saw uh, again the other night against the the ponies of Foxcroft Academy when he scored 15 points to uh, complement the three-point shooting. 14 three-pointers and, and uh, 15 points on the inside by Bither led to their victory in that game. Very talented team for the Coyotes. Same case for the Red Riots. They're led by the veteran Ed Catala. Yeah, much younger team. Just one senior on the roster and Ellis Spalding. Veteran uh, swing man, mostly forward. But uh, Pierce Walston is one of the top quarterbacks in the uh, in the league in Class B North as the point guard. Uh, brothers Ben and Will Francis are just very active. Ben Francis is one of the top offensive performers. and uh, Will Francis does a lot of things from offensive rebounding to defending and blocking shots. Big game tonight, big player tonight. Uh, maybe Noah Schaff, number mm. 50, sophomore. He's going to have the task of trying to uh, handle Emmett Bither largely by himself in order for the rest of the Orono defenders to get out on Old Town's three-point shooters. That is uh, no small task for the sophomore Noah Schaff. We'll see how it plays out. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is presented by Pine Tree Solar, a local solar company dedicated to helping Maine make the switch to solar energy. Feel good about saving money and saving the planet. Go green while saving green with Pine Tree Solar. We'll step aside once again here in the Northeast Driving School pregame show. We'll come back, take a look at the program histories and more. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. From the land to the sea, Chase's Family Restaurant is the place to be. Are you looking for a place to unwind after a long day? Then come check out our Hideaway Lounge. With a bar that's both upbeat and laid back. And it's the perfect atmosphere for anyone who wants to unwind after work. Or kick it up for the weekend with daily drink specials and a full dinner menu. You can fill up on a good time any night of the week. Thank you for being a part of our family. Here at Chase's Family Restaurant. Selling is all about relationships and building trust. At Greenway, it's our people that have built the business. We're fortunate to have a team with years of experience. They know John Deere equipment inside and out and go the extra mile to take care of our customers. And right now is a great time to talk to one of us about a new tractor. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, family owned and operated since 1994. You know, we can go into a room and have absolutely nothing in there. Nothing on the windows, no color, no character, no tone to a room. That's, I think, where we're strongest is being able to help someone envision what's going to go in that window. And we leave, it's totally transformed into something that the customer wants it to be. We've often been told we make a room look better just by leaving it. <laughs> I'm 
Phil Levesque, president of Levesque Business Solutions. We're a family-owned main business since 1963. We're your one-stop shop for great office products at affordable rates. From copiers to office furniture to PPE, we've got it all warehoused right here in Bangor. We're your local small main business with a dedicated staff providing honest and friendly customer service, top-of-the-line tech support, and the option of in-house leasing. Let us help you get back to business. When buying a used vehicle, the last thing you want is to end up here in a few months. At Downey's Toyota, we get that. When you buy a Toyota certified used vehicle, you get peace of mind knowing that your vehicle has gone through a rigorous inspection. You also get comprehensive and powertrain warranties, a Carfax history report, and seven years of roadside assistance. Plus, qualified buyers get low new car financing rates. As much as we'd like to keep these folks busy, we'd rather not see you back here right away. All roads lead to Downey's for Toyota certified used vehicles on Wilson Street in Brewer. Great crowd here tonight, great atmosphere brewing for the rivalry between the Old Town Coyotes and the Orno Red Riots here tonight. Jim Church along with Ernie Clark in the Uvec Business Solutions broadcast booth. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is also brought to you by Next Home Experience. Next Home Experience is listing and selling homes all over Maine, get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. Ernie, let's take a look at the program histories. Start with the visitors. There you go, the Coyotes. Uh, they've been uh, had a lot of success in a lot of different time frames, uh, from the 50s to uh, not that long ago. Class B state champions in 2014. Four Class A state champions. The most recent one in 1991. That was a heck of a team. And then uh, runners up in the Class A ranks in both 1929 and 1980. And now we turn our attention to the home team, the Orno Red Riots. Another team with basketballs there. With a storied tradition. It's been a while, though. Class B, uh, last regional championship in 19... Are you calling it a drought? Well, no. No, you're calling it a drought. <laughs> I'm just saying it's been a little while. Well, you're right. 1996. I think the magic is. number for a drought is more than... 26 years in the high school ranks. I'm going to tell Ed Catal. He doesn't need any more pressure. Well, as long as Alex Moody's got the audio taken care of, he'll, <laughs> we'll get a true uh, statement on who actually came out with that word first. But, uh, indeed, uh, they've been very uh, close a couple of times here in the mid-20-teens, and then last season got to the regional final uh, with a 15-3 regular season record before being knocked off by Ellsworth. Matter of fact, both these teams lost to Ellsworth in the uh, – Regional tournament last year, Old Town in the semifinals, Orono in the championship game as Ellsworth uh, took a 22-0 record into the state final. Yeah, big um, important game here tonight. He's bringing out some of the uh, yes. Class A players. The, uh, uh, Brewer Witch is in the house watching this one. I don't know what they paid for their tickets. but Well, I think I think Graham's held out, uh, helped out with one of them. Oh, okay. All right, because it was... Uh, Gramps was coaching one of the teams in the earlier That's game true. here. That's true. Picked up a win, by the way. Old, uh, Old Town with a 54-41 JV victory over Orono tonight. All right. There's a look at the uh, school profiles. And that's going to do it for the Northeast Driving School pregame show. Northeast Driving School has been the leader in driver training since 1969. Register for driver's ed courses today at northeastdrivingschool.com. When we return, we'll get you the starting lineups. We'll get you Ernie's keys to the game. And, of course, right after that, the opening tip. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Fast, friendly, honest, and clean. Counted right in front of you. You won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center, behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. So at Firehouse Subs, we don't just make subs. We make subs that are big, bold, and craveable. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Like our spicy Cajun chicken with Cajun seasoned grilled chicken breast and a house-made Cajun mayo. Firehouse Subs. Enjoy more subs. Save more lives.
Visit 920 Stillwater Avenue. What's the biggest craze this fall for parties and get-togethers? It's Flash Me Main. Photo booths are a fun, exciting way to capture memories at your party or event. And Flash Me Main is the premier photo booth rental company. The Magic Mirror booth is the most elegant, modern, sleek, and stunning booth currently available. Then there's the Flash Me Main Duo booth, a hybrid booth that is portable. Flash Me Main has dozens of props and backgrounds to choose from. Their goal is to make sure you have fun and that your photo booth photos make memories to last a lifetime. Let Flash Me Main photo booth rentals make your next get-together a blast. Find them on Facebook or at FlashMeMain.com. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With a new location in Bangor, County Physical Therapy brings a 30-year history of high-performance, outcome-based rehab to the Great Skates Plaza at 82 Sylvan Road. And with priority scheduling, you get seen in days, not weeks. Remember, it's your choice. Make the best choice. County Physical Therapy, now in Bangor. Call them today at 401-4324 or visit them online at countypt.com. Back here at Orono High School, Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark as a senior night here at Orono High School and some of the senior cheerleaders being honored down below and getting their photos taken. Yes, yeah, several cheerleaders. Just one basketball player, Ella Spaulding. Get his nod here in just That's a right. minute. Had a chat with Ellis's uh, parents on the way in. Very excited for this game here tonight and loyal followers of the ticket and ticket TV. Parents coming out. Moms getting the roses. Lots of smiles on the faces. Ernie, why don't you uh, give us your keys to this uh, game here tonight between the Coyotes and the Red Riots? Keys to the game tonight. I kind of alluded to them in the, uh, in the very early opening. For uh, Old Town, they've got to honor every player on the court for Old Town. They've got to guard all the guards, as many as four that Garrett Libby will put out there at a given time because all of them are capable three-point shooters the Coyotes had 14 three-pointers in their last game. Went over Foscroft Academy, and they're all capable of making those shots, so you can't cheat off one, any one player to put extra attention on somebody else for risk of allowing a wide-open three-point shot. For, or, uh, for Old Town, they've got to be wary of the uh, offensive rebounding capabilities of Orono, particularly Will Francis, the sophomore. In the earlier meeting this season, Orono... Uh, won that game 62 to 52 in large part because of 22 points and eight rebounds from Will Francis. A lot of that happening on the uh, offensive backboard. So uh, Old Town doesn't want to give Orno second shots. They get a lot of their offense off second shots. The other thing in terms of Will Francis to be wary of is he will be the focus of a lot of inbound plays at the offensive end along the baseline because of his jumping ability. A lot of times he'll throw lobs to him and they'll uh, Old Town will have to be wary of that defensively as well. And the senior night uh, continues here. A couple of Red Riots being honored. And Ellis Spalding making his way through the tunnel. And Katawa meeting him with a hug. Ellis not really into the hugging, I guess. No, so. no. <laughs> I, probably Ed should have gone with the fist bump. I yeah. think that might have been a little yeah, bit cleaner. They both were caught in between. <laughs> that, that happens. It does. That happens. And there's the, uh, the family portrait Spalding right there. Spalding family. All smiles here on senior night. He's played an important role this year. He's the only senior on the team. And now some of the juniors and sophomores have experience, but there's nothing like uh, having that uh, wisdom that comes with age to, uh, to help lead the way, and he's done a good job of that. Ernie's, uh, star, uh, pardon me, Ernie's Keys to the Game are brought to you by Main Sports Leader, 92-9 the ticket. And, of course, Tourney 2023 coming up on Sports Radio 92-9 the ticket. Beginning on Tuesday, we'll have a prelim game for you. The game will also be broadcast on Ticket TV to get our tournament coverage underway. We'll get the uh, starting lineups here momentarily. And we're just going to give the starting lineups, see if we can pick up the announcements here. Number five, Carson Ellis. Number 
There we go, the starting five for Coach Garrett Libby, familiar five. Now the Red Riots starting lineup. Number 10, Peter Schwalston. Number 20, Ellis Dalding. Number 24, Ben Francis. Number 32, Will Francis. And number 50, Noah Shaft. All right, we're going to get our national anthem, courtesy of the Orono High School Band here tonight, as the fans rise here at the Orono High Gymnasium. How about that? Not a bad way to get things rolling here tonight. Now that was uh, Catherine Catala, the younger daughter uh -huh. of Coach Ed Catala. And she gets a big hug from Dad. He's got tears he's wiping away, and why not? That was outstanding. All right. Coyotes out on the floor. Ernie, quickly run down through those starting lineups for us. Yes, indeed, for the Orno Red Riots. Number 10, Pierce Walston, a junior guard. Number 20, Ellis Spalding, a senior forward. Number 24, Ben Francis, a junior forward. Number 32, Will Francis, a sophomore forward. Number 50, Noah Schaff, a sophomore forward. For the Old Town Coyotes, Braden Brown, a senior guard, number one. Carson Ellis, a senior guard, number five. Grayson Tebow, a junior guard, number 13. Emmett Bither, a sophomore center, number 25. And Brendan Mahaney, a junior forward. Number 34. Here we go. Red Riots win the opening tip. Pass into the corner off the fingertips of Will Francis out of bounds. There's your first turnover of the evening. Yes, indeed. And here comes Old Town against the man-to-man -man of the Orono Red Riots. Carson Ellis out top. Braden Brown always a threat. This is Grayson Tebow. He was the player of the game on Monday nights and the win for the Coyotes over the Foxtroft Academy Ponies. Braden Brown, number one, by the way, the reigning Big East Conference Player of the Week for week eight of the season. Tebow backs it out. He's guarded by Ben Francis. Ben gets over that screen. Carson Ellis into the paint. Back to Brown. And Braden, a nice take, but it goes around the iron and out. Offensive rebound, though. Trying to keep it alive is Carson Ellis. Going to be knocked out of bounds off of Orno. Good so there. Well, that's a matchup to watch tonight. Uh, Pierce Walston, number 10 for Orno against Braden Brown, number one for Old Town. You see it? Well, you see the replay. Now we're back to live action. Bither from the free throw line. He hits. Emmett Bither, the sophomore. Seems like he's getting better with every game. Yeah, and he's getting one-on-one -on -one opportunities because of the threat the three-point shooters among the rest of the starting lineup provide uh, Orono's defense or challenges Orono's defense with. So it's a one-on-one, -on -one and Bythe is going to get those opportunities. Both teams coming out playing man-to-man. -man. Noah Schaff, reverse attempt, no good. Jumping at the basketball is Ellis. Long pass down court on the run. Mahaney into the corner. Brown three up and down. 
And the Coyotes off to a 5-0 start. 11 straight victories for Old Town, and what you're seeing is what other teams have been getting so far. Quick Walt offense. Pardon me, Arian. Walston into the paint, goes in the corner to Spalding. Will Francis still wearing that face mask. Ben Francis picked up by Tebow. Probing, spinning, dropping it down low. Shaft goes up, and a foul. It's Braden Brown. That's twice now. Schaff has been open as Emmett Beither has come out into the lane for help defense against the driving Red Riots. This time a foul on Braden Brown. First foul of the game, and Schaff gets to go to the line. First free throw by Noah's. No good. Just about two minutes into this one. Long road to hoe between the Coyotes and the Red Riots, and Shaft gets Orno on the board. One for two at the line for Noah. Now it's Old Town on the attack. Orno fans chanting defense off to our left. Mahaney surveying the situation. Tebow thought about the three. Now they whip it around to the right side. There's Brown into the paint, and we got a whistle and a foul. I believe on the pass. And Old Town will put it in play from underneath their own basket. Yeah, that reach in from behind, and then Spalding as Brown was going up in the air. Foul's going to be against Ellis Spalding, his first. And a takeaway by Ellis. He's got a half step, goes up for the shot. Great recovery by Tebow, and the follow by Pierce Walston as he went up. He got hacked. Let's take a look at it. Here's the fast break down Spalding, and uh, Tebow getting up in the air for the block, but uh, Walston there for the offensive rebound, and he gets a trip to the line. Foul will go against Carson Ellis. Walston's free throw is good. It's at 5-2. to two. Pierce wearing the stylish pink sneaks. And he goes 2-for-2 two with two the line. Both these teams want to run, so another priority for both will be getting back defensively to prevent wide-open layups. And uh, Old Town did a pretty good job of that last time, but Walson grabbed the offensive rebound. Will they get the opportunities to run? And when they do run, who will be most efficient? We will find out here tonight. Ellis on the right wing. Crosses over, goes to Tebow. And the ball knocked free from behind, but picked up by Emmett Beither, Ooh. and he powers his way inside. He gets fouled on the way up. And it's going to go against Noah Schaff. Beither almost snuck that in with some English here. Watch this move here. Spin move. He is nimble. With the dribble and watch that little spin thing. Just couldn't quite get it up there, but earns a trip to the line. Again, we've said over and over, he's one of the most improved players we've seen in this part of the state this year. Misses that attempt from the free throw line. You get a good look there at Emmett. Just a sophomore. Coach Garrett Libby in the background. Yeah, both centers tonight. And it's going to be an extra shot if he misses. Yeah, yeah. That's a violation on Will Francis stepping into the line too soon. see that and then doesn't help the coyote cause Bither misses the next one so an empty trip there for Old Town now Warno a chance to tie or take the lead with this possession slow start for the offenses plodding along here now tough window there for that pass inside to Will Francis Carson Ellis with the foul his shaft Taking the ball in and just, it was a body foul, mm. if anything, there. Second one on Ellis. Yes. Another Ellis, Spalding had it briefly. Now it's Pierce Walston. Good defense there by Gabe Gifford. He's into the ball game for Coach Libby. Shot from the free throw line, short by Ellis Spalding. And pouncing on that rebound is Emmett Beither. Quickly down the court they go. Back to Tebow, steps into a three, and it is good. He picks up right where he left off at Foxtroft Academy on Monday night. 
Honestly, you, you need to start guiding those guys as soon as they cross half court. Going to burn you. Walston again drawing the defense. Shaft down low. Underhand scoop to Walston. He tries to get it back to Shaft, but reading it well was Gabe Gifford. He picks it off. And Grayson Tebow. A junior. A junior and after getting all. Getting younger. <laughs> <laughs> Wish we could do that, Ernie. Uh, Garrett Levy joking <laughs> before the game about how the other coach is going to feel knowing he's got another year left. Braden Brown from downtown. Yeah, they're going to have to step out. Well, that's three threes already halfway through the first quarter for the uh, Coyotes, so they're on a pace for another big night. Yeah, boy, Orno forcing things here, trying to thread the needle with every possession. It's not working. Gifford, here's Byther. Here's your catch 22. Byther, they step out. Mahaney misses the three, and there's Emmett Byther. And let's see, did he clear some space? I think they're going to get Byther on that. Let's see. Yeah, indeed. Let's see the play here now. Shot by Mahaney. Weak side. The damage has uh, already been done. As I think it's Ellis Spalding going to the to the ground there. So that's going to be foul number one on Emmett Byther and foul number four on the Coyotes. Eight point lead for Old Town. Red Riots trying to cut into that deficit. Francis picks up his dribble. It's been quiet, it's still early. Five minutes in, Spalding open in the corner. Shot is up off the side of the backboard. Byther with the rebound. We got a fast break opportunity here for Old Town, but Braden Brown says, I'm gonna go for the three. In and out, no good. Byther with the putback won't go. Ball out to Gifford, his three is short. And finally, Will Francis comes up with the basketball. He's on the fly, crosses over, gets deep, surrounded by Coyotes, trying to pick up the basketball. Eventually does. Walston will fire up a three. That's too strong. And getting to the rebound is Gabe Gifford. And no second shots for the uh, Red Riots so far. Let me travel there. Walk there. Gabe Gifford with the step. Here's Tebow. Over to Gabe Gifford with the drive, but the travel there and. That's going to be turnover number three. Uh, excuse me, number two for Old Town. Orono with three in the early stages of the game. After tonight's game, Ernie Clark will announce our Firehouse Subs player of the game. That player will receive a sub family four pack to celebrate their performance in this Ticket TV contest. It's all courtesy of Firehouse Subs, 920 Stillwater Avenue in Bangorn at firehousesubs.com. 11 3 our score. That's Pierce Walston. Alex Fernandez in for uh, Old Town. It is truly a four-guard set here now with four guards and Byther in behind. Yeah, no drop off with Fernandez in the game. Here's Francis trying a three. That's off the iron, no good. Rebound to Schaff, out to Walston. Got up in the air, goes to Spalding. Spalding's runner, off no good. He gets it back, uses the left for two. A tip there from Noah Schaff on that offensive rebound. Gives Spalding a second chance and he cashes in. Here's Brown, the hard take, and he lays it in. You step out on him, he can blow by you. Yeah, that's the problem with a, him and Tebow both, is they've got that ability to drive if uh, you guard the three point shot too, too tightly. Oh, nice fake there by Walston. That Gifford to fly by, was left wide open on the left elbow, and he knocks it down. Tebow fakes the three, now steps inside the arc, comes up short on that attempt. Might have got tipped. Near the hands of Spaulding, this is Walston, goes down to his knees, and looking for a timeout, does he get it? Yes, he does. No, we got a hell ball. Oh, no? okay going to go to Old Town there. He was trying. 54 seconds left to go. Well, let's see what we've got here. Jeremy. Oh, I think we had some sort of perhaps injury situation because we had one of the Orono players heading to the locker room real quickly and has been replaced now by number 44, Mason Kenny. Yeah, Walston. Uh, it was Walston. I saw the zero on the end of it. Heading into the locker room. We've got 
poked three in subs the face here. while he was on the floor. Yeah, three subs in here. Uh, Brady Hughes, the 5'3", freshman, number 12, and number 14, Caden Gray. We got some moisture on the floor. There and are players Kenny. on the floor. Jeremy Busquet, the Old Town AD out there to inspect. Yeah, we'll he share that here. coffee. <laughs> I hope it's almost done because it's probably getting pretty cold at this point from Dunkin' Donuts. It's, well, you know. He brought it yeah. with him. I hold on to mine for a while. High School Basketball and Ticket TV brought to you by County Physical Therapy. Experience modern facilities, quality care, and results. So the choice is clear. County Physical Therapy, 82 Sylvan Road in Bangor. Orno in a 2-3 zone now. Come out of the man-to-man -man as uh, Lawson comes out of the locker room and gives Ed Catala the thumbs up. Get a little tissue in his right nostril. A bit of a nosebleed. Skip pass, T-Bow. Drives past Kenny, goes to Fernandez in the lane, kick out. Braden Brown sets it free and hits. They're so dangerous. Old Town got the ball into the paint finally and then kicked it back out. Brown just opened enough to get the shot off. Hughes in the corner. Here's Gray's shot. That is no good. Red Ryan's cold here in the first quarter. One second left. Gifford lets it go, and it's too long. And that's going to do it for the first eight minutes. Quality quarter for the Coyotes. They lead at 16 to 7 on Ticket TV. Hammond Lumber Company is honored to have again been named one of the best places to work in Maine. Hammond Lumber recognizes the importance of employee satisfaction. They provide a positive workplace environment with opportunities to grow. Hammond has continued to grow too, with more team members across Maine and New Hampshire. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at HammondLumber.com. Hammond Lumber Company, proud to be one of the best places to work in Maine. Gas prices, groceries, the cost of living is increasing. In this winter, so are home heating expenses. But the team at Bangor Federal takes some pressure off you and your family with our home heating assistance loan. With terms as low as 4.75% APR over 12 months and a max bar limit of $5,000, fill your oil tank, pay off that heat pump, or buy that extra pallet of wood pellets. For additional details and terms, contact our lending team at 947-0374 or visit our website, bangorfederal.com. Bangor Federal Credit Union, federally insured by... Back here in Orono, second quarter underway. Red Riots with the basketball, they're down by nine. Ben Francis, shuffle defeat again. Not just the offense for the Coyotes, no. the defense. It's the defense, too. Garrett, a little bit more concerned about the defense and the offense coming into the game, but the, the offense, uh, the defense has been stout as uh, no just two breathe. field goals yeah. in the first quarter by the Red Riots. Every pass, every shot is being challenged. Red Riots averaging 63 points a game coming into this contest. Bythers pass deflected and picked off by Ben Francis. Here's Walston. Pierce leans in, gets the shot away. Thought there was some contact there, didn't get the call. Wide open at the other end is Braden Brown. Off glass for two. Brown now having their way right now. 13 of the 18 Old Town points to this point. Walston. Ellis Spalding gets it back to Pierce. He's guarded by Gabe Gifford. Shaft trying to set a screen. Walston pulls up, in, out, and... Off the iron into the hands of Emmett Bither. Here come the Coyotes on the run. Tebow wide open, steps into another one. This one around and out. And the rebound to Ellis Spalding, and Ed Catala wants to talk things over. 30 second timeout here at Orno High School. Our coverage this evening brought to you in part by Chase's Restaurant and Hideaway Lounge, where good food and great fun meet. Chase's Family Restaurant, 1575 Hammond Street in Bangor. And we're also brought to you by Tony Murray's Fairway Auto Sales, your best bet for a quality pre-owned vehicles. Fairway Auto Sales in Hancock, home of the complimentary six-month, 6,000-mile 6, major component coverage plan. Two teams heading back out on the floor. Orno trying to get their feet underneath them in this ball game, but Old Town determined to keep them out of sync. Well, no uh, fast breaks off the offense, off the defensive rebounds, for one thing, and then just real strong half-court 
defense by the Coyotes. And a cross court pass picked off by Fernandez. Pull up jumper, it's good. Coyotes feeling it right now at both ends of the floor. Borno looking for answers. Again, tight coverage all over the floor. Gifford staying with Walston, keeping himself between Pierce and the basket. Ellis Balding can't hit the three. Rebound to Fernandez. What did I say about no drop off with Alex Fernandez in no, the ball no, game? No, and Gabe Gifford Ooh. for that matter. It's going to be a player control foul on. Oh, no, they called travel first. Oh, well, they did. Yep. Maybe a break there. Would have been number two on Byther. Let's go say. That would be one thing that could, uh, could change stall things. things just a tad. Yeah, they got, Old Town's got five guards, all veterans that they, they will use without hesitation, and all of them are capable of playing the defense that you're seeing, as well as score from three-point land. Francis diving on the loose basketball. Fernandez had it briefly. And what's the call there, travel? It's gonna be a travel yep. on Francis after he gained possession, rolling over. It's, uh, that's after the, after the play had been whistled. But there, but uh, you, can you can't, see the intensity. Yeah, you can't roll around down there with the ball in your hands. Now Orno stepping out there defense creates an advantage for Old Town. Open is Brown. This one comes up shy of the mark. Rebound to Will Francis. Yeah, that's a little dangerous move there to try to speed the game up with your defense, but Orno's got to do something here. Inside they go. Ben Francis splits the defense, misses the shot, ends up on the floor. And Fernandez a double dribble. That was Ben Francis' first shot of the game, and he's one, if not the leading scorer for the Red Riders. Probably Walston leading the way, but uh, certainly Ben Francis, a double figure producer throughout the winter for Ed Catal's Red Riots. Here's some Kenny to the Orono bench. Now the original starting lineup out there for Coach Catala. Spalding. Again, a cross-court pass. Here's Schaff. Ellis diving into the paint. Lost control of the basketball. Into the hands of Tebow. Three on one. Shot for Fernandez. And that's over the iron and directly into the hands of Will Francis. Oh, saved in by Ben Francis. Pass too high. Warner's just forcing things now. Oh, oh, a block there by Will Francis. Outlet deflected, but... Collected by Walston. Walston leans, puts it off glass. He's got two. That's a big one for Orno. Just nine points for the Red Riots through the first 12 minutes of this game. Yeah, a rare opportunity for a transition play with a block by Will Francis on Byther setting it up. There's Gifford. Gabe comes to Fernandez. They look inside to Byther. Emmett turns, faces up against Shaft. Ends up on the right side of the lane. And that time too hard off glass. A little too high off the window. Walston gets around the defender. Pumps. And Ooh. Coyotes go in the air. And a foul is going to go against Braden Brown. Well, let's see who uh, is called for the foul and what we had here. Because up in the air goes everybody. And then Brown from behind. It's against him. Yeah, the call is against him. His second foul. Walston's free throw is good. Here's three for three at the line here in this first half. High school basketball brought to you by Novus Glass. Call Novus Auto Glass today to get your windshield repaired or replaced. Your phone number 945-6688. Give them a call to set up your appointment. Walston again. Hitting both free throw attempts. Mahaney back into the game. Byther took a quick trip to the locker room. Didn't see what happened there. Brown on the near side. Hernandez looks inside, nothing there. This is Brendan Mahaney. See, his brother's here again tonight wearing the money suit. Oh, good. Yeah, he's uh, consistent. Yeah. Looking pretty spiffy. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Here's Mahaney for three. No good. Rebound, though, for Braden Brown. They whip it into the corner, and the ball's knocked out of bounds by Orno. 
Our coverage this evening brought to you by Levesque Business Solutions. Whether it's office equipment or office furniture at work or at home, Levesque Business Solutions has the answers for your needs. Set up your free consultation by calling 942-2226. Four-man camera crew here tonight. Trinity Plord, Ethan Tebolt, Grayson Cox, Brendan Poliquin. Gifford can't hit the three. There's Brown again on the weak side, and this time the putback goes down for Braden. So he got 15 now? He indeed does. 15 of the 22 Coyote points. Again, great defense there by Gifford. A little switching there as well. Francis was open briefly. Wasn't able to seize upon that opening. Yeah, he tried to step back to get a three-pointer, and that time he took to do that allowed the defense to get to him. Inside, off the front of the rim, gets it back, and this time able to climb it over that rim. Yeah, he was just too uh, strong there for Fernandez in that situation. Forward against a guard, and uh, Bither out of the game. Orono a little bit more eager to take the ball inside, perhaps. Fernandez pulls up from 15, off glass, no good. Then Ennestein had it briefly. Now it's Walston coming up with it for the Red Riots. Walston backing in, now falling away, and again, short on the shot. Offensive rebound, Caden Gray flung it up there off the side of the backboard. Here's Brown, wide open all alone at the other end of the court. He's got two more. 17 now is... He can leak out when he sees the uh, rebound coming his team's way. Ben Francis for three. No, wide right. Fernandez, long rebound. Here's a lead pass to Gabe Gifford, and the lefty scoops it up and in. 26 to 13, Old Town on top. Yeah, they're just doing, beating Orono. Pretty much every phase of the game except free throw shooting. Gray for three. He knocks it down. That's a big hit there for Caden Gray coming off the bench. Six foot junior. Ten point lead for the Coyotes. Brown again finding a hole in that defense. Misses the shot, but Brenda Mahaney follows it up. Yeah, it's the uh, Coyotes doing the offensive rebound, not the Red Riots like it was in the first meeting of the season between the teams. Combined record of these two teams, 29 and four. Number three, Orono taking on number four, Old Town. Right now it's the number four team in control. Another miss there by Orono. A buzzer beater attempt by Brendan Mahaney from half court is no good. And the Old Town Coyote fans on their feet. As their team, the Coyotes, take a 28-16 lead into the locker room. We'll take a break. Up next, the Next Home Experience Halftime Show on Ticket TV. If you're tired of rising electric costs, Pine Tree Solar and Herman can drastically lower or eliminate power bills for your home or business. Pine Tree Solar can even design and install off-grid systems for camps and remote locations. We are dedicated to making the process of going solar smooth and simple. Call us at 401-4300 or visit us online at pinetreesolar.com where our local solar energy experts will give you a free solar energy consultation. Pine Tree Solar, go green while saving green. The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. Nothing runs like a deer. Whether you have a lawn to mow, a driveway to plow, or a garden to till, our customers know you can't beat the quality and reliability of a John Deere. And right now at Greenway Equipment Sales, we have a great offer for you. Get 0% APR fixed rate financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor with a six-year powertrain warranty. For more offers, go to GreenwayEquipment.com. See the Smith Brothers today at Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth, and Bangor. Fast, friendly honest and clean. 
counted right in front of you. You won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. We are back here at Orono High School. There's the Orono High Band entertaining the fans here at the half. This is the Next Home Halftime Show. Next Home Experience is listing and selling homes all over Maine. Get looped and get sold with Next Home Experience. Our halftime score, the visitors from Old Town leading the Orono Red Riots 28-16. to And let's get to the halftime highlights. They're brought to you by Novus Auto Glass. Here we go. It's Ellis Spaulding with the floater for Orono. Tipped by Noah Shaft back to Spaulding. Nice little play there, a subtle play by Shaft to get Orono going offensively. Rare offensive board for the Red Riots here in the first half. Here comes the Man Coyotes. Of the hour. Yes, uh, Braden Brown, two of his 17. There's a step back there by Pierce Walston, who leads. The Red Riots with eight points here at intermission. Fernandez came off the bench and had a real good game. Kicks it out for the three-pointer. Is that Brown again? Yep. Indeed, Brown with three threes all in the first quarter, by the way. Here's Fernandez again. Had a steal at one end. The pull-up, tough shot there from about 10 feet. Here's Fernandez again kicking the ball to Tebow. Over to Emmett Beither, and he will drive. Only to see the shot blocked. Sent away by Will Francis. Here comes Walston again. The lean forward off glass and in. One of his two field goals. He's also four for four from the free throw line. There's Brown with the uh, long rebound offensively from the weak side and follows it up from short range. Ben Francis trying to get over the top of Fernandez. They have missed the first shot but went and got the offensive rebound and scored. Not enough of those plays for the Red Riot so far and here they are. Leaking out, that's, uh, I believe that's Brown again for the layup. And here's yep. Gabe Gifford. A nice shot there, a little spin in traffic. Here's Walston kicking the ball over to Caden Gray. Came off the bench and contributed this three-pointer. And there is Brendan Mahaney with the offensive rebound off the uh, miss by Brown inside. So Old Town matching Orono, if not bettering them on the offensive boards and uh, beating them in pretty much most other categories. Call Novus Auto Glass today to get your windshield repaired or replaced at 945-6688. Our coverage here tonight also brought to you by Frank's Big Shop, family owned and operated since 1945. Check out Frank's Meals to Go, convenient and delicious. Call 947-4594. That's Frank's Bake Shop, 199 State Street in Bangor and at franksbakery.com. We're also brought to you by Tossie's Checkout Convenience Store in Glenburn. Groceries, gas, and great food to go. Tossie's has it all. 1492 Pushaw Road in Glenburn and at Tossie'sCheckout.com. We'll take a break here at the half. 2816 Old Town coming up next. We'll take a look at the school profiles. This is high school basketball on Ticket TV. When you've got class, you wear Carhartt. And the perfect gifts for trendy students are at Miller's Workshop. Give them what they really want. Carhartt from Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. The Dream First Community Debit Card. When you shop local, use your Dream First Community Debit Card and we'll donate to a local food bank. You'll be supporting the businesses that help make our communities the beautiful and unique places we call home while also helping end food insecurity right here where we live. When you shop local, we give local. That's simple. The Dream First Community Debit Card, only from the First National Bank. Learn more at dreamfirstcommunity.com. Coastal Auto Parts proudly supports education for the skilled trades. These parents agree that allowing their children to explore trade opportunities at Hancock County Technical Center was a good move. With our son, we saw the most difference almost like a light bulb being turned on. And my daughter, because of her experience here at HCTC, she knows what she wants to do. 
she's gotten to try it. I feel like that's going to set her up for success. Coastal Auto Parts, owned and operated by a Maine family that... Life is so much better when you impact the lives of those around you. And with Creative Options, you will. Creative Options provides services and support to adults with intellectual disabilities. And right now, Creative Options is looking for shared living providers who take clients into their own homes, kind of like adult foster care. You'll enjoy a generous, tax-free stipend to work from home and make a difference in someone's life. To apply for this tremendous opportunity, simply visit creativeoptionsllc.org. That's creativeoptionsllc.org. Creative Options, where it's all about choice. At Midco Center Design, we truly understand the importance of offering an affordable treatment plan that always considers your needs first. We create beautiful new full and partial dentures, as well as offering repairs and relines to your current dentures. We want your denture to fit comfortably, be affordable, and most of all, make you happy. At Midco Center Design, your smile is what matters most. In fact, it's our job to make sure you have a smile you can be proud of at a price you can afford. Call Midco Center Design, because everyone deserves to have an awesome... Your guy is a working man. He lives in his car hearts. The perfect holiday gifts for him are at Miller's Workshop. Give him what he really wants. Carhartt from Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. This winter, you have a choice for moving snow out of your way. There's this or this, or you could go with this. You make the call to Doors Equipment in Bangor, of course. Doors Equipment has the Kubota tractor and attachment to make that white stuff disappear. Quality, innovation, and easy to use design. That's a Kubota. The doors are open for Kubota and Doors Equipment. Make them orange with envy on Outer Hammond Street, Bangor. Back here in Orono, Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark in the Lebec Business Solutions broadcast booth, 28-16. The visitors from Old Town on top in this rivalry game. Our coverage here tonight brought to you by State Street Optics. Lease of State Street Optics has been providing the greater Bangor community with vision solutions for 38 years. State Street Optics, where vision meets style. Let's take a look at the school profiles. We'll start with the visitors from Old Town. Enrollment 546. The principal, Scott Gordon, still in mourning after another <laughs> faulty cowboy season. AD, uh, Jeremy Busquet is here. Yes, indeed. Watching He's over things. For the Coyotes. Originally, uh, the Old Town Museum was located in an old waterworks building, but now it occupies the former St. Mary's Catholic Church on Main Street. Uh, it was created and dedicated in celebration of the American Bicentennial in 1976. In the spirit of 76. Almost 50 years ago now. Orono High School, enrollment 373. Cold principals, Meredith Diamond, Sam Runco, always very helpful here at Orono High School, as is their athletic director, Mike Archer. Of course, the mascot is the Red Riot. I don't know if we've ever seen I'd like a to Red see Riot. a Red Riot mascot. That would be good to have. I know. You know I have a vision of what it would look like. Oh, absolutely. But I don't know. All right, Ernie. Did you know in the 19th century, Orono became the center of the lumber industry? Sawmills on the rivers were powered by the water, and logs were floated downriver on the Penobscot for shipping and export from coastal ports. Yeah, this whole area was uh, big in logging and lumber. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you in part by Comfort Shoes and More in Newport, featuring athletic, casual, dress, and work shoes in many styles from the leading manufacturers, Comfort Shoes and More, 19 Moosehead Trail in Newport, and at comfortshoesandmore.com. And we're also brought to you by Bangor Window Shade and Drapery, offering custom blinds, shades, drapery, and outdoor awnings, Bangor Window Shade, 105 Main Street in Bangor. And we'll keep it right here as uh, they did not use the clock. So we're going to start don't. early again. One, one key in the second half is Orno's uh, going to see what they can do to get Will Francis going. And Ben Francis, for that Both matter. Of them. Ben Francis has just uh, two points. Will Francis has no points. It does have five rebounds and a blocked shot. But but to no points, just one shot attempt for Will Francis. And that was a three-pointer. And that's uh, he will take three-pointers occasionally, but that's not where his game is, uh, is focused. Ben Francis, one for three from the field. 0 for one on his only... Three-point try, as I mentioned earlier. Pierce Walston, eight points. Uh, two field goals, four for four from the line. Braden Brown leading Old Town with 17 points, including three for five for three-point land. Seven for 10 over, uh, seven for 11 overall. So pretty good night for the Old Town senior. All right, discussion briefly with Hawk Anderson and Mike Archer. 
Looks like we're going to get things underway here in the second half. It's going to be Old Town basketball to start things. Jason Tebow in backcourt. Orno's coming out in a 2-3 zone. Yep, went to that in the second quarter. And pass deflected, but collected there by Braden Brown. Old Town puts Mahaney in the high post to attack that zone. And there's a collision along the baseline. Byther missed the first attempt, but got it right back and put it home. Byther with just four points here early in the second half, but his presence has been felt. Here is a whip pass down low. Schaff into the corner. Spalling open. Doesn't get the bounce on the three attempt. And now a player down. And the foul's going to go against Carson Ellis. That's going to be his third. Yeah, just get back into the game. And uh, 43 seconds into the third quarter. Just kind of a... See what happens here. See how he hooked. Yeah, uh, he can't hook him. You know, He'd have been all right if he hadn't wrapped from that behind. Yeah, he was actually establishing good position with his body, but the hook was what prompted the foul. Walston to the cutting. Spalding goes up for the shot, and Brown's going to pick up the foul. Braden Brown. That may be three on him. Three on Ellis already, and Brown picked up his third, so a little uh, decision for Garrett Libby in terms of who to keep in the game and who to sub out. Sub is coming in, two of them. So both the uh, players with three are gonna come out, I would expect. Carson Ellis and uh, Braden Brown out with 7-12 left in the third. We'll see how long they stay out of the game. Yeah. It could be a coach Libby trying to keep their heads in the game, both very disappointed with the Recent events, there's an offensive rebound for Pierce Walston. He goes back up and down. Walston with 10 now. See if this changes the game. With it. We know that Old Town is deep at the guard position. Byther lost it, picked up by Will Francis. There's Walston going inside, spalling up, off, no good, but a foul is coming. It's gonna go against Brendan Mahaney. Let's see what we have here. A good view here from that camera on the near side. Nice pass from Walston. Oh, yeah. We got him on the head. The easy call there as Spalding will go from, to the line for two and uh, try to get Orno off to a good start here in the third quarter. Ellis hits the free throw. One more coming his way. And now Gary Libby calling timeout. I think it's a good one because team a little distracted here in this yeah 30 seconds time minute. out things have gone bad for them and trying to limit the momentum that Orono was able to gain from this 647 on the clock here in the third quarter and you see the 11 point advantage for the Coyotes for over five decades Dean's detailing has been Maine's auto detailing leader renew your vehicle's appearance and protect your auto investment Call 945-3016 or book your appointment at deansdetailing.com. Don't forget Valentine's Day coming up on Tuesday. Dean's gift cards or e-gift cards are the perfect fit. Spalding hits the second one as well. So two for two at the line. Orno two within ten. Fernandez. Now Gifford. Both of those players in for Coach Libby. Place of Ellis and Braden Brown. And that pass deflected, but picked up by Fernandez. Man advantage here briefly for Old Town. T Bolt content to dribble it out, reset things. Not a bad idea. There's Mahaney. They oh. got a Bither on that right baseline, but he had a running start. A little too much anticipation and excitement there by the sophomore. Orno trying to get into single digits in terms of deficit for the first time since the end of the first quarter. Down 16 to 7 at that point. Mm -hmm. Gonna take it one step at a time. Francis can't hit that shot. And pass deflected by Will Francis. Pass down ahead to Walston, and he gets he it did. to go. Count the hoop. What a fake there by Pierce. 
Let's take another look at it. Yeah, long pass from Spalding and up. The contact is drawn and mm. the ball sneaks over the rim and a chance for a three point play by Walston. That is now six in a row by Orono to start the third quarter and Garrett Libby counters by bringing Braden Brown back into the game with three fouls and 546 left in the period. Walston completes the three point play. Closest the Red Riots have been in a long time. 540 left here in the third. Long way to go in this one. Tebow. Mahaney. Tebow now near midcourt. Garrett Libby calling out a play. Screen there by Mahaney. Open is Brown in the corner. He's got another one. He's finding the space. Yes, and again, that zone, you just keep moving it around. Try to collapse it inside a little bit. There's going to be somebody open on the perimeter, and Brown has been deadly in terms of the accuracy. Yeah, I guess if you want somebody to be open, try somebody else at this point. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, make sure you stay on him. It's right. a little harder to do in a zone, though. Francis can't hit the three. That's Ben with a miss. Long rebound, tracked down by Braden Brown. A little hesitation in the lane, playing with three fouls. Misses the shot, gets it back. Now looks for a friend, finds Gabe Grifford, uh, Gifford, excuse me, three up by Tebold, no good. And a tussle for the rebound, and we got a tie up. And it's going to be Orono basketball. Stay tuned after the game for the Dean's detailing post game show. Going to take a look at the uh, most recent activity here for these two teams. Again, Orno has one game left coming up on Friday. That's a makeup game. We'll have it on Ticket TV for you against a very good Caribou Viking team. Caribou 11 and 5 going into action tonight. I think they might have been playing Presque Isle tonight up Ooh, in the county. Speaking of rivalries, Shaft down low, powers his way to two. It's the attention of the Orono fans. Yeah, Schaff kind of used the rim to his advantage, went to the other side to try to prevent the shot blocking attempt from Bither. Open is T-Bolt. Well, they didn't leave Brown open, but they left the guy who had, what, five threes the other night? Uh, yeah, T-Bolt had seven. Uh, uh, seven. Brown had five, yes, yeah. yeah. But that's the point. you got to guard them all. <laughs> right. Pick your time. poison. Yeah, your timeout Orono. Timeout Orono. We'll keep it here. Let's take a look at those upcoming uh, schedules here. And uh, again, for Old Town, it's tourney 2023. Indeed. To be determined, but you can see just part of their long win streak. If they can get the yeah, indeed, 11 games in a row. Uh, those 11 victories coming by an average, I believe, of 31 points. So they've been blowing people out and you can see there Foxcroft uh, 16 points uh, the deficit there in that game that was the closest anybody has come to the uh, uh, Coyotes since Orono beat them 62-52 uh, back on New Year's Eve and here's a look at the recent activity for Orono and that game coming up on Friday yeah upset loss uh, in overtime to John Babs Alex Moody very happy the director doesn't matter how just win baby former Crusader a couple of the wins since then over Foxcroft and Holton and then the uh, makeup game against Caribou on a Friday evening to close out their schedule. All right, one of a timeout. It's Orno with the basketball rejection there by Gabe Gifford. Alston went up for the shot. Gabe sent it back. Gabe Gifford's a good player to have coming off the bench in these types of situations. He's. Uh, an experienced player in multiple sports going to UMaine to pitch for the baseball team. So he's used to these big game scenarios. Orno stepping out of their zone. Spalding going for the pick. T-Bow is open, and he's got another one. All net for Grayson. Yeah, Orno had to come out of that zone. They were getting too easy. An open shot were the Coyotes, and that time Orno gambled. <clears throat> on the pass to Tebow, couldn't come up with a steal, and that left him with an open uh, three-pointer, his second straight here. Pass in backcourt to Will Francis. 
Will pulls up, shot, no good. They're going to get him down low. Yeah. You got to force the issue against Pfeiffer. Yeah, indeed. Brown is open in the corner. This one is off. Rebound by Spalding. Good work there by Ellis on the defensive glass. This is Caden Gray. And we're going to get a bump and a foul. Gray hey. knocked out of bounds. Just didn't get him. See, scoots over, never gets set. Got him with the leg there. Forced him out of bounds. Get a good look at the crowd there in attendance here tonight. We're somewhere in the middle of that. That's the Orono student body. They're a little quiet right now. They're team down by 14. Stay up, stay up. Posting up. posting Yeah, up. they're doing. Ben Francis from the right corner, in, out. Yeah. Almost went back down, but the rebound is hauled out of there by Brendan Mahaney. 14-point lead in the basketball for the Coyotes. They're in no hurry. No, don't need to be. Brown. Spread the Orono defense out. It's going to create lanes to the basket to drive if Orono contests the three-point shot. Almost a moving screen there by Gabe Gifford. There he gets it, it back and lays it in. Excellent ball movement, excellent player movement for the Coyotes. And another timeout needed for the Red Riots. 30-second timeout. Timeouts are brought to you by Bangor Window Shade here on Ticket TV. Bangor Window Shade, 105 Main Street in Bangor. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and here's a look at our upcoming broadcast schedule on Ticket TV. Got a double dip of the Bangor Brewer rivalry coming up tomorrow. Girls action at Brewer, 6.30 p.m. tip. Boys action at Redberry Gymnasium, 6.30 p.m. tip. And on Friday, that makeup contest between Caribou and Orno right here at Orno High School. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, Ernie, we'll have a girls' pre, uh, prelim in Class B on Tuesday, boys' uh, prelim in Class B on Wednesday. And the way this game is going, it's possible that Caribou at Orno game mm. may have as its reward a first-round bye with the winner getting to the fourth spot and the loser perhaps being forced to host a preliminary game. Well, still a ways to go in this one. Indeed. Orono is capable. He's Ben Francis. A lot of body contact there. Easy foul to call, and that is number four on Braden Brown. So he's going to have to sit back down with 123 left in the third quarter. That three is good from Pierce Walston. See if Orono can climb back into this game again with... Brown sitting out. Tebow. Ten threes in his last game in three quarters. Seven quarters, yeah. Feither posting up. And we got a push from behind. It's going to go against Ben Francis. First team foul against Orono here in the second half. Uh, Red Riots already will be shooting the one and one as uh, the Coyotes from Old Town have committed seven fouls in the third quarter. 45 seconds left. This is Mahaney. Rolls off the heel of the rim. Byther keeps it alive. Emmett on the wing. Again, Old Town in no hurry. Ball poked from behind and... Spalding looked down court to Walston, and it was sent back by Tebow, but picked up by Will Francis. He goes into the paint, back to Spalding on senior night, and Ellis comes through. Back to 11, and Coyotes looking for the final shot here with 10 seconds up on the board. Byther being bodied there by Ben Francis. Ball on the floor, and Caden Gray... And that is going to be what? I'm not sure. Uh, Gary Libby wanted the travel. They're going to say 
Tie up? No. I don't know what it? he called. Don't know. Hmm. No signal. Point seven, and that shot wide right. So that is going to do it for the third quarter. Eight minutes left. Keep it right here on Ticket TV. What's the biggest craze this fall for parties and get-togethers? It's Flash Me Maine. Photo booths are a fun, exciting way to capture memories at your party or event. And Flash Me Maine is the premier photo booth rental company. The Magic Mirror booth is the most elegant, modern, sleek, and stunning booth currently available. Then there's the Flash Me Maine Duo booth, a hybrid booth that is portable. Flash Me Maine has dozens of props and backgrounds to choose from. Their goal is to make sure you have fun and that your photo booth photos make memories to last a lifetime. Let Flash Me Maine photo booth rentals make your next get-together a blast. Find them on Facebook or at Flash Me Maine. Dog. He can't catch a football, but he can fetch you a home. Catch Luke at Next Home Experience. <laughs> Welcome back to Orono. Old Town with the basketball. First possession of the fourth quarter. Coyotes with an 11 point lead. Gabe Gifford, his three is short, and the ball ripped out of there by Will Francis. And it goes to Pierce Walston. A couple of sophomores were battling there. Will Francis and Emmett Byther. Three up by Ben Francis, and that is no good. A little frustration there as it didn't come close. Ben Francis, just two points so far on the evening, entering the fourth quarter. It wasn't getting touches early. Now no. the shots just aren't falling. Really not coming close on a lot of these shots. They've never really gotten into the flow of the game. No. Oh, Spalding going for the steal there. Picks up the foul. Oh. Things getting a little, a little heated there momentarily. Chipping. Second foul on Spalding. Second on the team. Now, the freshman, Brady Hughes, is going to come in. Now, he is a three-point shooting threat. He's very accurate from that distance, so Old Town will have to be wary of where he is on the court at Orono's offensive end. Seven minutes, here's T-Bolt, and from behind, a foul. Gonna go against Ben Francis. Yeah, you see a triple team here as uh, T-Bolt decided to post up all of a sudden and uh, finally got the shot off, and you can see the body contact from behind. Yeah, that situation, I want to leave that to Will Francis. He can handle that by well, himself. Yeah, exactly, he doesn't <laughs> need help down He was there. there. Yes. Jason T-Bolt hits the free, uh, three, excuse me. Uh, pardon me, I was right the first time. Free throw. Yes, up to 10 points now. Second one is good as well. And the lead back to 13 for the team in green. Walston backing in, into the paint, leans in, shot up, is good. Yeah, just out muscled Gabe Gifford on that one. He doesn't... Necessarily looked like the strongest guy in the building, but showed real good strength oh, there. Nice pass there by Emmett Byther down the right side of the lane. Orno defense came at him, and he saw a wide-open teammate in Brendan Mahaney on the other side. And that's part of Emmett Byther's growth, spotting open players, not necessarily thinking shot all the time as soon as he gets the ball. Oh, nice cut there by Ben Francis, but he can't get it to drop. Pounds the floor. 6.14 on the clock. Mahaney, nice little pump move there, but missed it. And it's ripped down by Will Francis. Nice catch there by Ben. Saves it in to Brady Hughes. Will Francis, got to get him going. Kind of looked off the defense there, but the shot in and out. Frustrating night for the Red Riots. Just 32 points. T-Bolt takes it all the way in. Missed the shot, didn't get the foul call. In the corner, Brady Hughes knocks it down. That's his specialty. Oh, 
Dave Anderson is down. Oh, Paul. boy. Yeah, I guess he's okay. Well, he got to his feet. That's what Brady somebody. Hughes can do. Yep. And the transition's a great place to do it because it's hard to find your uh, defensive assignment. And Old Town didn't in that situation, but Walston found him with the assist. T bolts three. Front iron, no good. Caden Gray, great position. Rose high to rip it down. Walston into the paint. Shot is blocked out of bounds. It'll be Old Town basketball. Noah Schaff, Ellis Spalding coming in for the Red Riots. And Braden Brown coming in for the Coyotes. Brown sat out about four minutes there after picking up his fourth foul. So he's in now with four fouls and a 10-point game. And he's got four fouls and he's guarding the guy who has the basketball the most for Orono. And we got a block that's going to go against Gabe Gifford. He's not happy with the call. There's a look at it. Tries to squeeze through. I guess you could call, could have called Mahaney as well. And this ball will be at the line. High school basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you by, no, nope, no free throw. We have one and one. Foul went against. Conversation. And it will be one and one. Ellis Balding yes. at the line. Our coverage here tonight brought to you by Acadia Federal Credit Union. Acadia FCU is a full-service financial institution with eight branches, three of them in Bangor. Find out how Acadia can enrich your life at AcadiaFCU.org. The throw is no good. So Orno comes up empty. They trail it by 10. Three here over the rim. No good. Spalding picks it off, but a steal and backcourt by T Bolt, and he's going to lay it in. It's an unforced error there. And something or Orno just can't afford. So they're going to try to come back here. Gifford getting into it defensively. Oh, great job staying between Walson and the basket. Spalding will try a three off the back of the rim. No good. Hughes comes up with the basketball briefly, but it's taken away by Gabe Gifford, and he's got a layup. Well, just when you thought Orno might get it ever closer. A couple of takeaways here. Now players down. That's going to be a block against Gifford. Well, that's the problem with falling behind by double figures. You can have yourself a nice little run, but a couple of plays like, well, that's a foul there on Gifford, but before, yep. the back-to-back -back steals by the Coyotes, and all of a sudden, all that hard work is back to a... Uh, oh, Spalding uh, the, heading uh, to the locker room. Yeah. He's got a hand or wrist situation there on his right hand. Something wrong with the scoreboard here as well. Oh, Orno suddenly, suddenly taking the lead. Well, that's some home cooking right there. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> I, I think it's 49 to 35. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're having a conversation about it. Yeah. We have to dig out the scorebook here. Yeah, 49-35. We got the score. Alex Mooney's got the right score. There we go. Our scoreboard. There we go. Malfunction. Me and Alex, or Alex. <laughs> Mooney and I are in sync for the first time ever right there. That's right. Ever. Enjoy it while it lasts. Free throw good by Pierce Walston. At Katala. Talking with the official across the way. One for two at the line for Walston. Rebound to Emmett Byther. Coyotes looking to end their regular season with a 12-game win streak. Pass poked away, but right into the hands of Gifford. And now the clock becomes a factor, particularly if Whoa. Old Town wants it to be. Yeah. And Andy pounces on that loose basketball, almost went across the sideline. Here's Byther facing up. Now drives. No, we got a, ooh. I'm going to say it was knocked out of bounds. One official put their hand up with a fist, which is a foul. Right. And the other. And I see the reach in from behind on Ben Francis, but. Oh, 
Kyle Parker up, asking, and yes, and uh, is Garrett Libby over there with his fist up in the air, and that's, there was no discussion about it. Deferment. Yep. You can see the contact from behind, though. Again, the reach in on Ben Francis is probably going to. Bither underneath the basket. Now Old Town, another pass deflected, but Coyote's fortunate that ball is ending up in their hands. Here's another loose basketball high in the air. Ellis Spalding will come away with this one. He went into the locker room. He's got that right wrist and hand wrapped up. Walston goes to work. Gifford has been outstanding defensively. Oh. Somehow Walston gets that shot to go. And we got a timeout called here by Orno. And we're going to keep it right here. Let's take another look. Yeah, let's watch this. Gifford applying great defense. Two pretty strong individuals here. Walston freed up his shooting arm just enough by using his body and able to get the shot off. And Walston now up to 21. 13 point second half of the senior guard. Are you looking to make your next event memorable and fun? Be sure to contact Flashby Maine Photo Booth Rentals. They specialize in fun at flashbymaine.com. Bet those guys right there. Those people would enjoy Flashby Maine. I bet. And there's our Flashby Maine Photo Booth Rentals fan cam honing in on the Old Town student body. Went to the black look tonight, huh? Yeah. Maybe they're going to uh, Aaron Rodgers' darkness chamber. Oh, no, boy. Don't get me going. <laughs> All right, two and a half. Old Town, fairly comfortable lead and forcing some desperation here for the Red Riots. Yeah, you know, at a certain point, you try to put Old Town on the line and make him make a couple of foul shots to put it away. That's just the first on Pierce Walston. So he's the perfect guy to do it. It's only 14 fouls, though, on Orono, so you know, might see him up. commit a couple more here pretty quickly. There's one. It's going to go against Ellis Spalding. Tonight's game brought to you by the Fitch Company, where you'll find experience with electrical and control systems engineers, field technicians, designers, and drafters ready to meet varied engineering challenges or manage projects. Visit FitchCompany.com. And that is Bither getting tripped up. And that'll be team foul number six. So now it becomes a free throw shooting contest for the Coyotes. And Jeremy Bousquet, he's been on uh, moisture watch tonight. Yeah, he's got to give him a broom maybe. Well, a lot more effective than just the shoes. Yeah, I <laughs> know somebody must have a towel here. Oh, well, a little dance. Whoa. Here. Yeah, well, that's Bousquet. A, yeah, Paul, Paul with you the call official that? got a chuckle out of that. <laughs> 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 I did too. Dancing on water. Yes, sir. And oh, here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. Hit up. Oh, oh lead the cheers. It's Jeremy Bousquet. <laughs> Everybody's in agreement in the house on oh, that. Oh, very good. <laughs> That's funny. Pass into Brown. Braden dishes it to Gifford. Now it's T-Bolt dribbling, dribbling it out near midcourt. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. And Ben Francis very quickly yeah. Yeah. going in to help Braden Brown to his feet. Gets a yeah. pat on the back. You see this? He's going. Whoa. Yeah, couldn't Tried get stopped in time. On. He really did. It's going to be uh, free throws now for. That's how I felt on the snow the other night, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've done that a couple times this winter. <laughs> I just couldn't stop. It's going to be four fouls on Ben Francis, seventh on the team, so. Braden Brown will go to the line for the first time this evening, working on a 20-point game. Free throw is good. It's still a four-possession game, but this one would make it five. That requires stops as well. Yes. Misses that one. Mahaney fighting for the offensive rebound. Comes up with it. And we're going to get a foul here against Orono. Well, Old Town came in here. It's not over yet, but they came in here. 
Yeah, hustle here play Mahaney and the foul on Will Francis. Mahaney doing a lot of the dirty work tonight, the little things to help his team win. Hardys came in here on a mission. They lost at home to Orno earlier this season by 10. Got an early lead, and they basically maintained it throughout. Orno got it to what? Within seven once here in the second half. Yeah, Old Town led five to nothing right out of the gate, never trailed. See there, 28 to 16 at the half. Walston long three, it's no good. And Orno haven't had a lot of open shots, and when they have had them, they have been wearing their shooting shoes here tonight. High School Basketball and Ticket TV brought to you by Bangor Floral for that special arrangement or gift for that special person. It's Bangor Floral, 332 Hollow Street in Bangor and at bangorfloral.net. Bangor Floral, every bloom has a story. Now the U Main men's basketball game at the Cross Center tonight, Ernie, delayed by a misaligned floor. Oh boy. That's not good. So mm. they have, they have, they've not started? Well, I'm trying to find that out. We got people on the scene there. It was delayed over a half hour. We're well beyond that. It's going to be Old Town basketball here with 134, but there yeah. were some ridges in the floor that shouldn't be there, so they had to pull it up. Another offensive rebound by Brendan Mahaney. Here is Will Francis, drops it in the middle of the floor, nobody home, picked up by Bither, fast break, Tebow puts it home. So Old Town started strong and they are finishing strong and Ed Cattell is about ready to send in a new five here. And Ben Francis finally gets one to go, his second field goal of the game. Nice job there as he wards off Tebow, goes up and in, gets the foul chance for a three-point play. And now Garrett Libby's going to send in the new five. Well-deserved round of applause for that group heading off. Gabe Gifford, Jason Tebow, and the Bither, Brendan Mahaney, Braden Brown. And you might say the Old Town fans are feeling it too. Yes, indeed. And why not? This is, uh, it is a rivalry after all. Our coverage here tonight brought to you by the Coach House Restaurant for home-style cooking and a friendly atmosphere. It's the Coach House. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week, 457 Wilson Street in Brewer and at thecoachhouserestaurant.com. All right, let's see if we can pick up these numbers here. Matthew Braun into the ball game for the Coyotes. Also out there is Joshua Harvey. And... Oh, 35. Powers. Is Jaden Jayden Powers. Jaden Powers. Aiden Gom on the floor. And Logan Brown for Orno. Ian Benson. He was honored prior to the game tonight. He's a senior. Brady Hughes. Adam Sherman. Bergen Soderberg and Luke Soktima. Final 10 seconds. Motown fans on their feet. And the Coyotes win the rematch here in this 2022 23 season. The two teams split on the regular season. Old Town will head into the tournament. In the top four, they'll get a first round bye, and they've got a 12 game win streak heading into the postseason. So the Coyotes end up 16 and 2. Orno falls to 14 and 3. They have one game left coming up on Friday against Caribou, and we'll have it on Ticket TV. We'll take a break. Coming up next, it's the Dean's Detailing Post Game Show. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV.
At Firehouse Subs, a portion of every purchase helps provide life-saving equipment to first responders across the country. So at Firehouse Subs, we don't just make subs, we make subs that are big, bold, and craveable. We make our subs differently because our subs make a difference. Like our spicy Cajun chicken with Cajun seasoned grilled chicken breast and a house-made Cajun mayo. Firehouse Subs, enjoy more subs, save more lives. He can't catch a football, but he can fetch you a home. Catch Luke at Next Home Experience. I'm Phil Levesque, president of Levesque Business Solutions. We're a family-owned main business since 1963. We're your one-stop shop for great office products at affordable rates. From copiers to office furniture to PPE, we've got it all warehoused right here in Bangor. We're your local small main business with a dedicated staff providing honest and friendly customer service, top-of-the-line tech support, and the option of in-house leasing. Let us help you get back... The day begins in darkness. Time does not define me. It drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. Selling is all about relationships and building trust. At Greenway, it's our people that have built the business. We're fortunate to have a team with years of experience. They know John Deere equipment inside and out and go the extra mile to take care of our customers. And right now is a great time to talk to one of us about a new tractor. Get 0% APR financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor. Nothing runs like a deer. From Greenway Equipment Sales, family owned and operated since 1994. Back at Old Town High School, you see the aftermath of this contest here tonight between the rivals, Old Town Coyotes and Orono Red Riots. And the Old Town Coyotes come out with a victory here tonight. They defeat the uh, Red Riots, avenging an earlier loss this season against the Red Riots at home. So Old Town certainly heading into the postseason with all kinds of momentum, you might say, with a 12-game win streak. You see the final score there, 54 to 41. Our coverage of high school basketball on Ticket TV is brought to you in part by Stonington's Furniture. Discover the Stonington difference. You'll love coming home to Stonington's at 689 Wilson Street in Brewer and at Stonington's.com. And if you're looking for a simple way to earn some Chick-fil-A, download the Chick-fil-A app and order your favorites ahead of time. Not only will you save time, but you'll earn points towards tasty rewards with every qualifying purchase. Download the Chick-fil-A app today or visit them at 605 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark here in the Levesque Business Solutions broadcast booth. And without further ado, let's get to our post-game highlights. Yes. Most of them involve, or many of them involve, an Old Town team that really controlled this game from the start. Whoa, Whoa, what happened? We got last night's action from Ellsworth. <laughs> there we and go. Here we go. There's uh, Brendan Mahaney taking the pass. Nice inside pass from Emmett Byther to score. Bonus coverage. Yes, indeed. <laughs> See what we've got here. We've got uh, Grayson Tebow. Nice feed to Gifford. To Gifford for a layup. Again, they spread the defense out and find a passing lane. There's Byther to Mahaney again. I think we saw that one earlier, but that's okay. Here comes... Uh, Pierce Walston over to Brady Hughes. The freshman knocks down his only shot of the game from three as Orno tries to cut that game, uh, cut that deficit down. That one cut it down to 10, but a steal by Grayson Tebow and a layup. Here again is Gifford again. Gifford did a nice job off the bench in a lot of different ways. Yeah, he and played Walston, great defense. Yeah, he did. He fouled here, but uh, tough physical defense. Just took a great play by Walston to get that three-point play opportunity. Here comes Will Francis here. And the ball is stolen. Here comes Emmett Byther on the turnover. See who he finds. Nice bounce pass through the defense to Tebow. 
Tebow, 12 point second half for the Coyotes. Here comes Ben Francis, earning himself a late three point play for Orono, but not quite enough as the Coyotes earn the season split with a 54 to 41 victory. And our post game highlights brought to you by Chase's Restaurant and Hideaway Lounge. And we're going to take a very quick timeout. We'll come back. We'll talk with Coach Garrett Libby and our player of the game as well. Keep it right here on Ticket TV. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With a new location in Bangor, County Physical Therapy brings a 30-year history of high-performance, outcome-based rehab to the Great Skates Plaza at 82 Sylvan Road. And with priority scheduling, you get seen in days, not weeks. Remember, it's your choice. Make the best choice. County Physical Therapy, now in Bangor. Call them today at 401-4324 or visit them online at countypt.com. You know, we can go into a room and have absolutely nothing in there, nothing on the windows, no color, no character, no tone to a room. That's, I think, where we're strongest is being able to help someone envision what's going to go in that window and we leave, it's totally transformed into something that the customer wants it to be. We've often been told we make a room look better just by leaving it. <laughs> the day begins in darkness. Time does not define me, it drives me to keep roads, schools, and storefronts open. Making sure our town is open by daybreak and our livelihoods are open for business. It's your boss. Find it at Quirk. From the land to the... And we are back here at Orono High School. This is the Dean's Detailing Post Game Show. Jim Churchill along with Ernie Clark here in the Levesque Business Solutions broadcast booth. And we have a couple of special guests here in the broadcast booth after the Old Town Coyotes score a 54 to 41 win over the rival Orono Red Riots. And uh, Coach Garrett Libby with us, also Braden Brown. We'll get to uh, Braden here in just a second, but Coach, we're talking to you for the second time in three days. That's generally a good thing here on Ticket TV. Mm -hmm. And just talk about the way your team came into this game, the way they come out, the way they started the game, and the way they finished the game here tonight. Uh, I mean, really, I thought we just came out very poised. Um, you know, we knew what we had to do defensively. We've been talking about it, you know, all year, working on it all year. Uh, I think the biggest thing is we just had a really good mental approach. Uh, you know, we stayed relentless defensively. They stayed mentally tough, uh, didn't allow any runs. Uh, it really made it hard for them to score. I mean, I think at one point in the third quarter that, that Orno only had 25, and I was thinking to myself, wow, I mean, we can't ask for better defense than that. So Yeah, the defense was stifling. I mean, it was like they were suffocating under your pressure. They couldn't get a shot off. Every pass, every shot was being challenged, and there weren't really a lot of touches for Ben Francis early and almost none in this game for Will Francis. And Gabe Gifford, a guy who came off the bench, uh, had the assignment on Pierce Walston, and he stayed between him and the basket all night long. Yes, Gabe's probably one of our best on-ball defenders. He's just a menace. Uh, he moves his feet very well. Uh, and he's just he, he's strong, strong kid. So, um, you know, to be able to move as quick as he can with the strength he has, he, he can be a nightmare for, for a lot of guys on the court. So, Yeah, we talk about the depth of, at the uh, on the perimeter for you guys. I mean, you have a couple of guys, and Alex Fernandez and, and Gabe could start for pretty much anybody else. It's yeah. a great luxury to have, don't you think? It is. It is. Um, you know, it, it's, it's always nice to be able to have some depth. Uh, it's always nice to have the, the quickness and the guard play that we have coming off the bench. Uh, you know, it makes you feel confident going into a game that we can go in, and even with foul trouble, we can stay in it and not lose anything. And you kind of needed it tonight in the second half. Uh, Graydon, you picked up uh, third and then eventually your fourth, and uh, Carson Ellis also yep. was in some foul trouble. But those guys come in, stem the tide, although I know you put Graydon back in pretty quickly, and he immediately knocked down a down to three so it's always nice to know that he's a yep. guy that can come in and to some extent play with foul trouble or at least make plays with foul trouble yeah i mean we knew we, we couldn't give up too much offensively so we really wanted to get him back in the game uh you know and, and gamble a little bit you know it's a, it's a game of gamble sometimes it happens he could have gotten an unfortunate one we were lucky that 
you know, he worked out and, and didn't get a fifth foul, so. Yeah. yeah. And I just want to talk about you You took Braden out, you took Carson out, and you were not of a good mind at that point. You were walking across the baseline. You were a little hot under the collar. What were you telling these guys? Or I'm going to ask Braden, what was he telling you at that point? Because you were a little frustrated. Yeah, when I walked down the baseline, yeah. it was pretty much just keep my, keep my head in the game. Um, don't get don't get in my head pretty much. Yeah. Just keep playing. Yeah. And the offense, I mean, 54 points. I mean, credit some of that to, to certainly to Orono defensively as well. They're pretty stout. But it seemed like you made some threes early, and that, you know, that forces the defense to kind of spread a little bit. And while you didn't get a ton of stuff on the inside, you did get contributions from, from Emmett and Brendan uh, Mahaney, and it also created some lanes for driving and interior passing. Just talk about how, how you kind of work that in terms of, how you approach a game, whether or not the threes are falling early versus the occasional time, I suppose, when maybe they're not. Especially in the second half when they switch their zone, their 2-3 zone, we tend to work it in more in the zone. That's where most of our inside shots come from. And then obviously if they step off us, then that's when we shoot. But in a 2-3 zone, we try to get in the, into the post as much as we can. Uh, we were coming off a game at Foxcroft where you had 14 threes as a team. Tonight, not quite so many. But uh, you had four, and uh, Grayson had three. And I would suppose it's a timing of them tonight as much as anything else because they were early in the game. Yep. And it did kind of set the tone for what you were able to get later in the game. Is that accurate? Yeah, I mean, it set the tone, and it gave us a good, uh, good cushion to play with a lead. So that way, uh, you know, we could we keep pushing the ball the way we did, but we didn't have to be overly aggressive, looking to score, looking to rush offensively. Uh, so it's always always great when they fall early to give you that little bit of cushion to, to kind of relax a little bit and, and be patient. Grayson, you've now won 12 games in a row. Braden. Uh, Braden, sorry. Grayson was Monday. <laughs> I did that. He was the other night. <laughs> and we found out, we just found out he was a junior, by the way. Yeah. So yes. We yep. reclassified yep. to the class of 2026 <laughs> or whatever it is. But, but uh, 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 now I... <laughs> trying to remember what the heck I was going to add. Uh, as long as you remember oh, his name. Just a just, uh, 12-game uh, win streak uh, coming into this week, Braden. Uh, but you hadn't beaten a team with a winning record in that group, which is not to say they're terrible teams. They just don't have winning records. Now you, you went up to Dover Foxcroft the other night. Pretty strong victory over a Foxcroft team that's ranked six, I think, in the division. And you come back tonight with a rivalry game against the last team to beat you last year by the way and uh pretty significant victory tonight where you never trailed in the game what does these two games at the end of the regular season on top of what you had done the previous 10 games how do you suppose that sets you up in terms of mentally being ready for the tournament i mean it gives us insane momentum i mean these those, those two teams are very good yep. um we've been practicing all year on close games every practice we practice for close games i mean We've been doing it all year. We were just ready. We came ready. Chances are, whoops, where's our schedule? Where's the Old Town schedule? You still got that? Chances are, here we go. Chances are, come this time right here, there's going to be a, a cl couple of close games here or there, so you're well prepared. So we often ask, when you're playing, and briefly we'll say, how are they leaving him so wide open? Because right. he keeps knocking them down. Yeah. But then T-Bowl hits one or Gifford hits one, or Ellis hits one, or you go inside to uh, to Emmett. Uh, just, we know how we describe your team. How do you describe your team? Quick, and we're ready for anything. I mean, we have shooters on the outside. We can score on the inside. If we're not shooting well on the outside, we get to the inside. We do well at that. But, Coach, I would say this, particularly when it comes to the three-point shooters, it's a very patient. I mean, they're not rushing shots, it doesn't seem. It seems like they take the threes when they're able to square up and set. And it seems like it's done, you know, not effortlessly certainly, but it's done calmly. And I think that has a lot to do with the accuracy you guys are shooting at from long range. Definitely, and we talk about that a lot with the guys about the quality of three-pointers, um, you know, being off you know, off the pass, whether it's a kick out or from the wing or even in transition at times that, you know, when we catch and shoot and we're locked and loaded, you know, we're, we're a really good shooting team. But, you know, the big key being when we really spread the floor, um, you know, it's hard to guard all of our shooters. So that's, that's what really exactly. gets us the space to, to pull them off comfortably. Uh, you know, we don't typically have many times where we have to force them if we're looking for one. Uh, you know, if we just spread the court, move the ball, we can get someone open and get a three-pointer if we need it. Braden's the, uh, the newly uh, crowned uh, player of the week in the Big East Conference for week eight. That's before tonight. Um, 
what's been going on with him in the last 10 days to two weeks to uh, earn him that honor in a, in a situation where Chance Mercy has been cleaning up most of the hardware. What's he, what's, how has he elevated his game? Um, you know, really, he's just been hungry. Uh, you know, he had to sit, uh, what was it, one or two games? Three games. Three games uh, due to a little nagging injury. Um, you know, I think, you know, sitting as a senior, it, it stinks, but he knew it served a purpose um, and, and the rest was needed. And I think, you know, just coming back off of that, it's just pure excitement. He loves the game. Uh, you know, he plays a ton of basketball all year round. So it's, I think it's just the excitement to be out there, play with a great group of guys uh, and, a, and a team that really moves the ball well and, fi- and, and finds a way to score the ball. So I mean, there's a sense of finality to all this, isn't there? I mean, you just played your last regular season game of your high school career, you and your five senior teammates. Go, yep. Well, you know, but, it, but there are bigger games ahead. And, th- I mean, in one sense, you probably can't wait to get there, can you? Nope. To Bangor? Can't wait. Uh, well, you got to what, to the semifinals last year? Yes. Yeah. And Ellsworth got you. Yep. Anything in particular you, from the experience that you can carry over to this year and, and, uh, or just the experience itself uh, will help you, hopefully? Well, definitely playing at the cross. That was a big thing. Um, we had a really good last game, and that kind of put us on a good note. I mean, we only lost to Ellsworth by two. Yep. We lost to them by yeah. way more than that in the regular season. So, sure yeah. how much we improved. I got to say, we're looking forward to the tournament in general, but this uh, Class B North boys yeah. uh, division is one that uh, I've got uh, my eyes on. Uh, without further ado, Ernie. Yes, I guess we got to make this formal. You are our player of the game, and with that comes... A sub family Food. four pack from Firehouse Subs. Unfortunately, I didn't bring the certificate tonight, but I'll make sure we get it to you. Okay. Um, but yes, uh, Braden Brown, our Firehouse Subs player of the game. He gets a sub family four pack. It's courtesy of Firehouse food. Subs, 920 Stillwater Avenue in Bangor. Uh, coach, again, uh, congrats. 12 uh, game win streak. Uh, enjoy the, the brief time off as you prepare for what? You guys would play for your third. You would play. It depends. Friday? I, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it is Friday. Friday. Yes, I think Friday. it is Friday night. Friday yep. if we get third, yep. Saturday if fourth. Yep. Well, this certainly will go a long ways toward that because Orono is worth a ton of points, and you have no more to gain, and we'll see what happens with the uh, – I think Caribou might have been playing Presque Isle tonight, and, and yep. then they play Foxcroft on no, – uh, And they play Orono. Uh, Orono. Orono. Yeah. Presque Isle plays Foxcroft on Friday. Yep. Orono uh, hosts Caribou Friday yep. evening as well. So there are some games uh, next couple of days that, uh, that will determine where everybody stands, but uh, – you, you know where you're at right now, and that's yep. on a pretty good roll. And, uh, Getting them by. Yeah, and yep. I think you will be tough for anybody that you play in the tournament. All right, Braden, congrats. All right, Coach, congrats. Thank you. All right, good luck. Thank that you, is Ernie. Coach Garrett Libby and our player of the game, Braden Brown, joining us here in the Dean's Detailing postgame show. I didn't mind holding them a little bit longer. They got a short trip. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, not not like like they're, it's not like they're going to Dover. It's not like they got a long trip or anything. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to take a break here, come back with more of the post-game show after this on Ticket TV. I'm Phil Levesque, president of Levesque Business Solutions. We're a family-owned main business since 1963. We're your one-stop shop for great office products at affordable rates. From copiers to office furniture to PPE, we've got it all warehoused right here in Bangor. We're your local small main business with a dedicated staff providing honest and friendly customer service, top-of-the-line tech support, and the option of in-house leasing. Let us help you get back to... When it comes to repairing or replacing your windshield, Novus is the clear choice in glass repair. Locally owned and operated at 499 Hammond Street, we offer free mobile service in the greater Bangor area, as well as shuttle service during bad weather. We can come to your home, workplace, or anywhere you are. Novus is a preferred service provider by all insurance companies, and we can cover up to $100 of your insurance deductible. Whether it's repairing or replacing your windshield, door glass, mirror, or your rear window glass, you can count on Novus to be where you are when you need us the most. Call Novus today. Fast, friendly, honest, and clean. Counted right in front of you. You won't have to wait long to leave Brewer Redemption Center with cash in your hand. Located in the North Brewer Shopping Center behind the Parody, Brewer Redemption Center is open Tuesday through Friday, 8 to 6, and Saturdays, 8 to 4. So grab those returnables and head over to Brewer Redemption Center today. Our team is waiting for you. 
What's the biggest craze this fall for parties and get-togethers? It's Flash Me Maine. Photo booths are a fun, exciting way to capture memories at your party or event. And Flash Me Maine is the premier photo booth rental company. The Magic Mirror booth is the most elegant, modern, sleek, and stunning booth currently available. Then there's the Flash Me Maine Duo booth, a hybrid booth that is portable. Flash Me Maine has dozens of props and backgrounds to choose from. Their goal is to make sure you have fun and that your photo booth photos make memories to last a lifetime. Let Flash Me Maine photo booth rentals make your next get-together a blast. Find them on Facebook or at Flash Me Maine. Com. Nothing runs like a deer. Whether you have a lawn to mow, a driveway to plow, or a garden to till, our customers know you can't beat the quality and reliability of a John Deere. And right now at Greenway Equipment Sales, we have a great offer for you. Get 0% APR fixed rate financing for 72 months on a John Deere compact utility tractor with a six-year powertrain warranty. For more offers, go to GreenwayEquipment.com. See the Smith Brothers today at Greenway Equipment Sales, Ellsworth, and Bangor. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? When the forecast calls for nasty weather, all roads lead to down east. With Toyota's impressive lineup of 15 all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, you're sure to find a model and payment that's right for you. Don't see it on our lot? Here's the latest update on models arriving soon. Pre-order yours now for the fastest delivery. When main roads get messy, all roads lead to down east. Your four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive headquarters on Wilson Street in Brewer. And welcome back to Orono High School. Certainly there is plenty of riot power here at uh, Orono High, but not enough in this basketball game uh, tonight to overtake the Old Town Coyotes. Old Town winning here tonight 54-41 to to finish up their season on a 12-game win streak. They wrap up the regular season at 16-2. Orono falls to 14-3. One game left for the Red Riots, and we'll be here on Friday for that game against Caribou. Ernie, why don't you give us some numbers here? Yes, indeed. Uh, final score once again, Old Town 54 and Orono 41. First off for the Old Town Coyotes, Braden Brown, the senior guard, our player of the game, 21 points, including four three-point goals at 17 in the first half to spark the uh, Coyotes to a double-digit lead. Grayson Tebow had 12 of his 15 points in the second half. He also made, or he made three three three-pointers to add to the mix for the Coyotes. Six points apiece for Gabe Gifford and Brendan Mahaney. Four for Emmett Bither and two for Alex Fernandez for their total of 54 for the Orono Red Riots. Pierce Walston, a game-high 21 points, 13 of those in the second half. Six for Ellis Spaulding, five for Ben Francis, three apiece for... Brady Hughes, Caden Gray, and Noah Schaff for the Red Riots, total of 41. All right, game recap brought to you by Doors Equipment. All right, we'll step aside. We'll come back, wrap this one up. This is High School Basketball on Ticket TV. Hammond Lumber Company is honored to have again been named one of the best places to work in Maine. Hammond Lumber recognizes the importance of employee satisfaction. They provide a positive workplace environment with opportunities to grow. Hammond has continued to grow too, with more team members across Maine and New Hampshire. To find your place on the Hammond team, click on the careers link at HammondLumber.com. Hammond Lumber Company, proud to be one of the best places to work in Maine. Life is so much better when you impact the lives of those around you. And with Creative Options, you will. Creative Options provides services and support to adults with intellectual disabilities. And right now, Creative Options is looking for shared living providers who take clients into their own homes, kind of like adult foster care. You'll enjoy a generous, tax-free stipend to work from home and make a difference in someone's life. To apply for this tremendous opportunity, simply visit creativeoptionsllc.org. That's creativeoptionsllc.org. Creative Options, where it's all about choice. Postal Auto Parts proudly supports education for the skilled trades. These parents agree that allowing their children to explore trade opportunities at Hancock County Technical Center was a good move. With our son, we saw the most difference, almost like a light bulb being turned on. And my daughter, because of her experience here at HCTC, she knows what she wants to do. She's gotten to try it. I feel like that's going to set her up for success. Coastal Auto Parts, owned and operated by a Maine family that cares. The Dream First Community Debit Card. When you shop local, use your Dream First Community Debit Card and we'll donate to a local food bank. 
you'll be supporting the businesses that help make our communities the beautiful and unique places we call home, while also helping end food insecurity right here where we live. When you shop local, we give local. That's simple. The Dream First Community Debit Card, only from the First National Bank. Learn more at dreamfirstcommunity.com. If you're tired of rising electric costs, Pine Tree Solar and Herman can drastically lower or eliminate power bills for your home or business. Pine Tree Solar can even design and install off-grid systems for camps and remote locations. We are dedicated to making the process of going solar smooth and simple. Call us at 401-4300 or visit us online at pinetreesolar.com where our local solar energy experts will give you a free solar energy consultation. Pine Tree Solar, go green while saving green. She's a true Mainer, not afraid to get her nails dirty and loves the great outdoors. Find the perfect gift for her at Miller's Workshop. Give her what she really wants. Carhartt from Miller's Workshop and Brewer for brands that work. Back for the final time here at Orono High School tonight. Jim Churchill, Ernie Clark, and our Ticket TV team. We'll talk about them here in just a few moments. Uh, but first, we want to talk about what's coming up on Ticket TV after the Old Town Coyotes score the win here tonight, 54-41 to over the rival Orono Red Riots. Tomorrow night, two Bangor Brewer games in rivalry week here on Ticket TV. Girls at Brewer High School and boys at Bangor High School. And then on Friday, we've mentioned it a few times, that Caribou at Orono makeup game will tip off here at Orono at uh, 7 p.m. And then on Tuesday, we'll have a Class B girls prelim game on Wednesday we'll have a class B boys prelim game on ticket TV as well and then after that uh, we'll swing over to sports radio 92.9 the ticket on Friday the 17th our first uh, session of tourney 2023 from the cross insurance center hopefully they have that floor fixed by the time we get well there. yeah <laughs> that was uh, it has so been put back together the so puzzle has been put back together in Maine and Vermont in a tight game uh, in the first half at the cross. Uh, we're going to join Sixers and Celtics uh, here very shortly. Uh, Maine women's basketball. I didn't get a score on right. that, but they were playing earlier on the ticket. Celtics hosting the Hornets on Friday night. On Saturday, doubleheader of Maine basketball action. Women hosting NJIT. Broadcast time 12.30. Men on the road in Newark, New Jersey at 3.30 p.m. with a broadcast time there. Grizzlies and Celtics early on Sunday afternoon, and then we take it as Super Bowl coverage, Eagles and Chiefs on Sunday afternoon. Weekdays on Sports Radio 92.9, the ticket. The morning roast from 6 to 8 a.m., the drive from 4 to 6 p.m. And now let's thank our great team here tonight, Alex Mooney directing the broadcast, also working the scoreboard, Max Pottle on the graphics, and uh, camera crew, four-person crew, Ethan Tebolt, Trinity Plord, Brendan Poliquin, and Grayson Cox. Trinity stepping in for Lainey Cohen this evening. Ernie Clark, my broadcast partner. Ernie, thank you, and uh, you'll be back at it tomorrow night. You're going to be with Alex at Redberry Gym. We've got some illness on the uh, yes, we on do the uh, Sportsnet Main uh, ticket team, so uh, you'll be in Bangor with uh, Alex and Nate Bailey, and I'll be at. Uh, Brewer with uh, Chris Hoare and Matt Cunha. So uh, enjoy tomorrow night. Then I'll see you again. We'll see you Friday. Right then back I'll see here. You every day, forever. Yeah, exactly. All right, Jim, March. <laughs> Jim Churchill saying good night from Orono. The final once again. The Coyotes fifty-four. The Red Riots forty-one. This has been high school basketball on Ticket TV. High school basketball on Ticket TV has been presented by Quirk Auto Group. Greenway Equipment, Brewer Redemption Center, and Pine Tree Solar. High School Basketball on Ticket TV also brought to you by Next Home Experience, Northeast Driving School, Dean's Detailing, Levesque Business Solutions, Bangor Window Shade, Acadia Federal Credit Union, Novus Glass, Firehouse Subs, County Physical Therapy, Flash Me Main Photo Boots, Chase's Family Restaurant, Fairway Auto Sales, Tossie's Checkout Convenience Store, Comfort Shoes and more. 
Frank's Bake Shop, The Fitch Company, State Street Optics, Bangor Floral, and The Coach House Restaurant. High School Sports on Ticket TV also brought to you by Coastal Auto Parts, Hammond Lumber, Bangor Federal Credit Union, Creative Options, First National Bank, Midcoast Denture Design, and Miller's Workshop. High School Basketball on Ticket TV is a production of 92.9 The Ticket and Sportsnet Maine.